हेलो एवरीबडी आफ्टर बिट लॉन्ग टाइम वेलकम टू माय चैनल वाई बन एट प्राची अवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज नॉट ओनली इम्पॉर्टेंट टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड इंजीनियर्स बट इट्स वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव टू द पीपल हू वॉन्ट्स टू नो द रीजन बिहाइंड सडन हार्ट अटैक स्ट्रोक्स एंड द इमरजेंसी मेडिकल टेक्नोलॉजीज टू सेव द पेशेंट्स लाइफ सो टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट डी फिब्रिलेटर सम पीपल ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज शॉक मशीन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू ऑल सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट एवरी न्यू अपडेट वॉट एवर आई अपलोड सो बेसिकली डी फिब्रिलेटर इज अ मेडिकल डिवाइस विच स्टॉप्स अरेथमिया ऑफ हार्ट एंड अलाउज हार्ट टू रीस्टैब्लिश इट्स नेचुरल रिदम बिफोर नोइंग एनीथिंग अबाउट दिस डिवाइस वी मस्ट लर्न अबाउट हार्ट एंड इट्स प्रॉब्लम्स In my earlier video on ECG I have described all the things about heart and its functions so uh, today I will again explain the electrical activity of heart and its problems ECG is nothing but the graphical interpretation of heart's activity in electrical form now you see the image of human heart there you can see the SA node in right side of heart long form is sinoatrial node it is a natural pacemaker of heart which produces the impulses and the waves of depolarization spreads through the all right atria and it covers av node also av is atrioventricular node as this impulse reach av node wave of depolarization spreads through the bundle of hes which splits into two paths and to the purkinje fibers this spread of impulse depolarizes the respective portion of heart and contraction of heart happens this contraction allows heart to pump the blood in particular rhythm this rhythm in electrical form produces the pattern of ecg healthy patient or human being produces this standard format of ecg any significant changes in this pattern indicates the problem in heart function in image you can see the graph is segmented into different sections and are p pq qrs st t and u these different sections are made of electrical signals coming from different portions of heart and represents depolarization and repolarization activity now i will show you some major heart problems with their ecg patterns first is ventricular tachycardia in this type of arrhythmia rapid and irregular heart beat last for few seconds or much longer and then becomes risk of ventricular fibrillation so next is ventricular fibrillation in this arrhythmia rapid and irregular heart beats causes the ventricles to quiver ineffectively instead of pumping the blood and then it lead to sudden cardiac arrest and death within minutes if emergency care is not provided third is atria flutter in this type heart beats in regular rhythm but with fast heart rate fourth is paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia in this type of arrhythmia rapid and regular heart beats happens which begins and ends suddenly causing inappropriate blood pumping through heart also called as psvt syndrome fifth is wolf parkinsons white syndrome it is a type of psvt syndrome in which heart has an extra electrical pathway between atria and ventricle disrupting the timing of electrical signals and causing the ventricles to beat too fast now all these syndromes creates abnormal or faulty ecg pattern now i will tell you what defibrillator exactly does defibrillator consist of two metal pads and an ecg lead wires when this ecg cable connected to the patient chest it produces an ecg signal and displays on device screen device detects if any fault in pattern of ecg is seen this device is totally applied or operated on patient only by doctors or trained clinical team as defibrillator detects the problem it indicates to give shock to patient doctor set appropriate energy level to shock and attaches the pads on patient chest which delivers the shock to patient this process is done until patient's heart not getting beat in rhythm defibrillator restarts the heart and helps heart to beat by its natural rhythm after this medical process if patient is recovered he is likely to keep under observation for some time or a day 
there are other type of defibrillators are also available that are aed and implantable defibrillator now what is aed and how it works aed means automated external defibrillator this device is battery operated and portable it comes with two disposable sticky pads it has been ideally kept at public places where if any walking person gets an heart attack any general person can save one's life without training aed encompassed with operating instructions uh, in voice recordings when pads are attached on patient's chest machine detects abnormality in rhythm and delivers the shock automatically that's why it can be done by any walk-in person if followed the instructions given by machine so if patient is newly introduced to the heart problems stationary defibrillator and aids are majorly used and helpful also but if patient facing regular problems of heart arrhythmia then the option of implantable defibrillator is also available and advised this device is very small in size and light which can be attached on body or can be implanted inside the body as this device accompanies the patient all the time it carries very much weightage because when patient on he uh, or his family members may not identify the arrhythmia or when patient is sleeping this machine takes care of heart rhythm it's like a medical care is walking with patient in today's run of life heart attack is being very major death reason due to stress and tension we all must know about the importance and devices like aed and defibrillator i have tried to give information in simple language i hope you all like the information thank you so much for watching till the end next time we will learn new device till that keep learning do your best bye bye